All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, the chair of this committee. I want to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of this committee and are here today. We have Council Members Gibson, Constantinidis, Doi, Chair Kalos, King, Reynoso, Richards, Gredenchik, Chair Adams, Diaz, Chair Moya, and Rivera. And Council Member Levin, welcome. Uh, I want to thank uh, Chair Moya, Chair Adams, and Chair Kalos for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will be voting on projects refer out of our three subcommittees. From our zoning subcommittee, we'll be voting to approve LUs 317 and 318. The East 241st Street rezoning in Councilmember Cohen's district in the Bronx. The applicant seeks approval for a zoning map amendment to rezone a number of lots from an M1 1 to R7D slash C2 4 district and a zoning text amendment to modify Appendix F and map a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing option one and option two. The text would also add the rezoning area to the transit zone to reduce parking requirements. These actions will facilitate the development of a mixed use commercial and residential building. Council Member Cohen is in support of this application. We are also voting to approve LUs 319 and 320, the 895 Bedford Avenue rezoning in Council Member Levin's district in Brooklyn. And R7A slash C2-4 district would be mapped in place of an existing M1-2 district. The zoning text change would establish a mandatory inclusionary housing utilizing MIH option one and two. The applications will facilitate the development of a seven story mixed use building with ground floor commercial space and approximately 36 apartments. Council member Levin is in support of the application. We will also vote to approve LUs 321, the 100 to 103rd North Conduit Avenue rezoning in council member Overish district in Queens. The zoning map change would establish a C2-2 district within an existing R3X district in order to facilitate the development of a new use group 16 automotive service station subject to further BSA approval. The site would also include a one-story store and 13 accessory parking spaces. Council Member Ulrich is in support of this application. We will also vote today to approve LUs 322, the 51 53 White Street Zoning Street Special Permit in Council Member Chin's District in Manhattan. The property consists of an existing building in the Tribeca East Historic District, and a special permit would modify certain bulk regulations to facilitate the enlargement of the building, while also providing for its continued restoration and maintenance. Council Member Chin is in support of this application. We will be voting to approve LU 323, the 59 Greenwich Avenue Zoning Special Permit in, Speaker District in the Speaker's District in Manhattan. The property consists of an existing building in the Greenwich Village Historic District, and a special permit would permit the modification of use regulations to allow use group six uses on the existing building's second floor, as well as the modification of certain bulk regulations. The application will facilitate the reconstruction and enlargement of the existing historic building, while also providing for its continued restoration and maintenance. The applicant has agreed that no eating or drinking establishments will be located on the second floor. The speaker is in support of this application. From our landmark subcommittee, we will vote to approve pre-considered LU 20195311 SCK for site selection of a new approximately 676 seat prim primary school in Community District 20 in Brooklyn. The property is located in Community District 10 in Council Member Menchaca's district in Brooklyn. He is in support of this application. From our planning subcommittees, we'll be voting to approve LUs 314, 315, 31, and 316. Belmont Cove for property in my district in the Bronx. This application for a zoning map change from M1-4 to R7X zoning text amendment to apply MIH option one and disposition of a city owned property will result in the development of a new 11 story building at 656 East 176th Street. The building will have 157 affordable apartments, 19 enclosed accessory parking spaces, and other an amenities. This project will be developed on the HPD Ellis program, and at least 15% of the units will, re will be reserved for formerly homeless households. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? Council Member Cohen. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, I'll be brief. I just wanted to... Uh uh, let my colleagues know uh, how pleased I am about the, the, the way this project came about. Uh, the developer made multiple visits to the community board. It was really developed in consultation, not just as part of ULERP. They came 
you know, many times before ULERP had started. They came multiple times during ULERP. Uh, the borough president asked them to develop more three-bedroom units. They, they, they accommodated him. The community board asked for additional parking. They accommodated them. I was very concerned about making sure that we get retail uh, and the entire first floor is going to be retail. I think that this project is really going to be a shot in the arm and revitalize uh, this portion of White Plains Road. It's 100 percent affordable. The chair will be pleased that it's 15 percent set aside for formerly homeless. Uh, so I, I'm uh, very pleased and proud of this project and I would encourage my colleagues to vote aye. Thank you, Councilmember Cohen. Any other members from the committee wish to make any comments? No? All right, seeing none, I will now call a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the local council members and the subcommittees to approve LUs 314, 315, 316, 317, 318, 319, 320, 321, 322, 323, and pre LU 2019 311 SCK. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye, I know. Constantinidis. Aye, I know. Gibson. Aye, I know. Deutsch. Aye, I know. Kalos. Aye, I know. King. Aye, I know. Ku. Aye, I know. Levin. Aye, I know. Reynoso. With congratulations to Councilmember Cohen. Aye, I know. Richards. Aye, I know. Congratulations, all. Grudenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye, I know. Diaz. Aye. <coughs> Moya. Aye, I know. Rivera. Aye. We have a vote of 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, and Council Lanyu staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for 10 minutes.